Well, hi everyone, my name is Catherine. I will be your host for the first master class being held by SDB VA community. So for all of you who are here tonight, you guys are very lucky. You are part of the history. We are trying this new format where we want to be sharing more um, pr practical skill to all of our audience. And hopefully you can immediately apply um, the skills that you are learning from this master class to any of the job that you are currently doing. Okay, so let's get to it. Um, let's start the presentation. Okay, I know that everyone here is looking to learn from Canva to cash flow. So we will help you to design your way to remote income uh, through Yale Sylvie Andy, which is our guest speaker for tonight. All right. And why mastering Canva is crucial for remote workers. I know that some, uh, most of you are here because you want to become a remote worker. And Canva is one of the most important tools that you can use uh, as a remote worker. Because um, using Canva, it will unlock remote opportunities. Canva will help you create professional visuals for social media, marketing, and presentations. This is the skill that is highly valued by companies or entrepreneurs. And the second, you can gain a competitive edge. So whether you're a VA, a social media manager, or freelancer, Canva skills will make you stand out and increase your chances of landing jobs and clients. That's about um, remote work. You can work anywhere also with your cat. Okay, so this slide is showing you um, an example of uh, Canva job offers on Upwork. So the reason why we decided that Canva skill is going to be the first masterclass that we are giving to our audience is because uh, there is so much um, opportunity out there when you know how to use Canva. So for example, you can see here, this is just a basic uh, search that we did on Upwork. So if you go to Upwork, freelancing platform, or um, any other uh, platform that you know, and you type in Canva or virtual assistant, you can see that there are so many people uh, looking um, to hire someone with Canva skills. And the payment is not little. So you can see here um, hourly 5 to 30 uh, US dollar per hour. That is per hour to create some design with Canva. And then the second one, there's like an intermediate uh, requirement uh, as a social media and content creator, five to seven US dollar per hour. Okay, so and these are just two of the so many um, uh, opportunities of job vacancies that requires Canva skill. Okay, so let's meet our guest speaker, yeah, uh, Sylvie Andy. Okay. Hi, Sylvie. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Hi, Welcome. Good evening. Hello. How are you today, Kat Catherine? I'm good. I'm good, but I'm better now that you're here. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So what is Canva and why we use it? Canva is a free to use online graphic design tools that even if you don't have any extensive design experience, you can also use it to create some visual contents like a social media graphics, presentation, poster, and you can also create like something like a digital product. And also it comes with photos, elements, and other graphics that you can use for free. So Canva offers lots of elements and also templates Thousand, I can say a thousand of elements and templates that, that you can use even if you are only using the free version. I will show you how to do it later, okay? And this is an example of Canva elements. So you just go to the design dashboard and then you go to the search um, part and then you can search using your keywords to search for the thing that you want to add into your design. And here are example of some Canva uh, templates, sorry. And for the templates, Canva also have different categories that you can use. For example, let's say if you want to create a presentation, you can choose the category for presentations. And if you are creating the um, content for Instagram, you can also go to Instagram templates and get inspired. And also you can use the templates to create some posters. Let's say you, if you have a client um, in, restaurant and then they want you to create some poster for the business you can also do this okay you don't have to really follow the all the design you can also try to personalize and also customize it according to your client's needs so this is the canva homepage, or we also call it canva dashboard and if you don't have canva 
yet or you don't have any Canva accounts yet, you can uh, go to canva.com and then sign up for your account. Yeah, it's very um, easy. It's very uh, it's super easy, and you can just um, create your account by using your Gmail account. Okay, and now. I will want to show you several things here and here is the projects in projects here you can find the project that you are working on canva and in templates like i have mentioned previously this is the template that you can use for free some of them are free but if you see that there is a yellow crown here it means that you need to have a canva pro version to use it okay but you don't have to worry because uh, there are still lots of free templates that you can use and as I have mentioned that today we will start to create the new design from scratch. You can just go to create a design and you can choose different um, size that you want to use. For example, for Instagram story or Instagram post, or let's say you want to create something for YouTube banner. You can also just, um, sorry, you can just uh, type whatever you want to find here. Okay. There are lots of options that you can choose. And let's say if you want to create for TikTok, you can also search for the TikTok. You can also create something um, like banner on for LinkedIn. Yeah, so everything is here. Okay. And for today, I will start with the Instagram post. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, let me see. Okay, I'll go with this one. All right, guys, so this is your um, design template. Uh, you will have to create anything or add anything to your canvas here, okay? And here are the elements that I have mentioned previously. You can go to the elements to find anything that you want. And to add the text, you can go to the text here. And now I will show you how to add elements to your design. First, you can go to the search part here and then you can just type whatever you want to search. For example, for today, because I'm a photo assistant, I want to create a post, a Instagram post about my service. So I will just try to search for something like work from home. Okay, so here are some options that you can choose. You can have graphics here and as I have mentioned, the yellow color one, yellow crown one is for the pro user, but if you don't have a pro account yet, you can just choose the free one, okay? There are lots of options that you can choose also. And now I will go to the photos here. You can add the photos in your uh, design. You can also add videos and shapes and also audio frame. Frame is the, um, if you use frame, you can have the photos that is customized to your friends, uh, if you're, to your friends' shape, okay? And now I will start with choosing the photos. So I will choose something free from here. I think I will go with, okay, just choose this one first. And now I want to make this photo as my background the background of my design so i'll just right click on the photo and then i will choose set image as background yeah and after that you can also adjust the position in the background here you just double click on the photo and you can adjust accordingly you can also make it bigger like this but you cannot make it smaller okay and i think i will adjust the position to this okay this looks good then click done Okay, now I want to add some text in this design. I will go to the text or you can also just press T, T letter in your keyboard to add the text box. Yeah, and you can also move the text box like this and then you can just um, type whatever you want to type here. I will try to type a for a photo assistant. And you can also adjust the font size accordingly like this, or you can also go to the toolbar here. And you can change the style. Okay. And you can change the alignment as well. And you can also change the text color. Mm. Okay. 
so it's just uh, as simple as this okay and now i want i also want to add um uh, uh what we call it a rectangle so i will go to the shapes here uh, let's see um okay rectangle yeah and i'll add the rectangle i can also change the color of the rectangle uh let's choose black one so i'm gonna put it here and i want to change the transparency of the rectangle here okay so you can also do it this way it's up to you just feel free to explore okay um i think i'm gonna type um i'm sylvie a uh, photo assistant okay and let's change the alignment all right now i want to add another text box so i will just click on this text box and then click on this duplicate yeah and let's say i want to type um, let's work together and then adjust the size accordingly and i also want to add another rectangle here so i'll just duplicate this one and you can see that the text is behind this rectangle right so you can just right click on the design and you can sorry and you can click here um let's see where is it wait a second yeah right click on the image and then sorry what happened <laughs> wait a second uh, okay you go to the layer and then go to show layers and you can just move the elements accordingly yeah okay All right guys so let's try to slow down <laughs> so let's add new page here and now i have added photos in the first design and for the second design, I will want to add the something like elements, okay? And first, I would want to search for the background first. I don't want to use the background like this, but I want to use another type of background. For example, I want to search for the paper, yeah, paper texture, okay? And you can go to the photos here, then choose the one that you like, yeah? For example, maybe I will choose this one. Okay, just click on it okay you can also drag and drop like this or just click on it and it will be automatically added to your design yeah and after that you will right click and then choose set image as background to set this as your background yeah it's just like this and if you want to detach the image you can just right click again and then detach image from background and it will be removed from the background okay and now I want to add text, but I don't want to type new text. So I'll just go to this text and then I'll just click Ctrl C in my keyboard and then just Ctrl V in this design. And then let's change the text to black color so that it will be more clear. Okay, and now I want to add element in this design so i will go to the elements and i will search for work from home again mm, i'll go to graphics oh, sorry yeah so you have so many um, options to choose here if you are using free version you just choose the one without the yellow crown um, Mm -hmm. let's see which one i would want to choose okay mm. all right let's go back okay oh no no uh, okay this one okay then you can also make the elements bigger and after that you can also I think I'm gonna change this background transparency a little bit. Um, let's see another um, elements. Let's see what we have here. Um, uh -huh. 
Yeah, just uh, if you don't find anything that you like, just try to scroll. And you can also change the keywords here. Maybe I will try to find something like photo assistant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it will give you different options. And I will go with this one, I guess. Yeah. Okay, and you can also add some elements like maybe a paper, torn paper, I guess. Torn paper. Yeah, choose the one that you like. Just use your keywords, whatever keywords that you want to use. You can just use it here and search the, for the um, elements that you want to use. Yeah, for example, this one, I will go to the layer and then show layers and then I want to drag it to the back yeah this is the example you can also be creative on your own just feel free to explore and see which one was the best for you okay guys so this is um the same example of adding elements and also adding photos into your design yeah and i think i will move on to the next part because um i want to finish all the um, effects that will be very uh, useful for you to create your design for your clients. Yeah. And first, I want to add a uh, text again, and I just copy this one. And I will not use my full name here, so I will just delete this. And now I want to add frame here, and I will just choose this circle frame. And I can also go back to the elements and search for work from home and go to the photos and choose the photo that I want to use. Okay, let's choose this one, for example, just drag and drop to the frame. Okay, and you can also adjust the position of the photo inside your frame like this. Yeah. Okay, and you can also um, add the border to your frame just go to these three lines here and then add some borders like this i think i'm gonna use the number four and you can also change the border color okay and for the emboss text i will separate these two texts so i will just duplicate this text and for the first one i will just delete this assistant and for the second one, I will delete the first one. So, and to uh, add the curve text effect, you can go to effects here. Just, um, you have to select your text first and then you go to effects. And after that, you choose this curve one. Yeah, the curve. And you can adjust the curve level accordingly. Okay, and I can also adjust the letter spacing or the line spacing. You can just go to this uh, icon and adjust accordingly like this. Okay, so this looks good. And for this one, I also want to add some effects uh, for the curve text. So I'm going to check what is the number here. It's 64. And I'll use the same number for this one because it will look more balanced. Okay. And I'll go to the effects again for this text and go to this curve and use the same number. But for this time, I will use the minus 64 because I want to um, do the reverse one. Yeah. Okay. And after that, I will also want to use the same lines, uh, letter spacing. So I'll just copy this one. Um, Okay, so it will look like this. And if you want to move all the elements, you can also just group everything like this. You can go to group and then you can move it accordingly. Yeah, and if you see the purple lines at the center, it means that your design or your elements positions are at the center. Okay, now I would want to add some embossed effects for these two tags. So I will 
select this one and then you can press shift key in your keyboard and then you click another text and i want to change the text color first i think i'm gonna go with this one okay and guys so um i will show you some tricks feel free to screenshot or to take notes on how to do this uh, inbox text because you will have a task after this um day one master class okay and you select this text and then go to the effects again yeah and to shadow and what you're going to do is now you have to um, adjust the setting here for the offset blur and transparency so for the offset i will go with 25 for the blur i will go for 25 as well and for the transparency i will put 70 75 sorry yeah and for the color i will change it to the black color okay so it will look like this and after that i will group this text and then click duplicate yeah click duplicate and then you will align the text in the same position like this and after that you can go to more and go to layer and go to show layers and select the text that is in the foreground yeah which is the in the back side yeah how do you know that is the back side so you can see actually the layer here it shows that uh, the first one is at the top of the design and then it will follow by another elements yeah and you uh, you 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 choose the second one and then you go to effects again and then you change the direction for the second text you can choose 150 just follow the number that i show here okay and for the transparency you can go with XT. you don't need to change anything for the offset and the blur but change the color to white color yeah okay so it doesn't look um, anything like this uh, in this part you have to change the background color to make it clearer a clearer so just use the same color of the text color which is this one okay okay yeah so this is how you can get the emboss effect okay wow looks so nice i didn't know this <laughs> Okay. I'm learning something new today. Oh, so you also learn something new from yeah, this? Yeah, because I mean, before I know Canva, I use Photoshop, right, to design. And it's it's really, it's quite complicated to use Photoshop and Adobe uh, Illustrator. Yeah. But it does yes. this, yeah, like doing yes. the embossed text and everything. I use that in Photoshop and I've been using Canva yeah. for like, I don't know how many years now, five years. And apparently we can do that as well. Wow. Awesome. Exactly. Yeah, so uh, people will need Photoshop, like you mentioned, or uh, Adobe Illustrator to do these effects, but you can mm -hmm. just simply click here and there, and then you can do it on Canva. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's just like you have to be uh, creative, right? The tools yeah. are there, and you just have to be creative on using everything. Yeah. Yes. It's amazing. Yes. So I don't have any uh, design experience, so I just try to figure out how can I do it in Canva? <laughs> it will be uh, much more yeah. easier for me rather than to learn um, Photoshop or Illustrator from scratch, right? <laughs> right. Oh, um, can you show uh, show us again the number for the... Oh, okay. the sure. Yeah, I think someone wants to do a screenshot. Okay, sure. So I will show you for the first one. Uh, I'll go to the layer and show the layers for the first image. Uh, sorry for the first text i will go to the effects you can take screenshot guys for this yeah. part okay okay this is important i will take a screenshot too okay sure please <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay great and then the next part the next text let's move on to the second text here and okay take screenshot all right Screenshot. Come on, guys. It's time to take a screenshot. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay, guys. That's great. Okay. Should we move on to the next one, Dr. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, right, so if you have any question for Sylvie uh, that is um, regarding her services, like how, like how much he, she 
uh, price her service or how to package her service, please um, type it in the Q&A box. We are going to answer it after uh, the next session. Okay, yes. we will do it in a Q&A session. So if you okay. have like questions about like the Canva design, you can uh, do it now while Sylvie is uh, showing some more mm -hmm. tricks. We mm -hmm. uh, she can also answer that. Okay. okay. All right, guys. Okay. So let's move on. Let's move on. So the next thing I want to show you is the scrolling text. I think you have seen this text effect in wherever you go. <laughs> yeah, you can see in the traffic, like maybe the running text and maybe in some ads in social media or in internet. So now I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. And I want to add another text box. So I'll just press T in my keyboard like this. Yeah. I'll just adjust the size a little bit. Not a little bit actually, just a lot. <laughs> okay. And change the uh, font size to maybe 30. Okay. So I'm gonna type for two assistant again. Okay, now what you have to do is just select the text. You have to put the space after this for two assistant text or whatever text that you want to use later and press paste and then control A, which is to select all and then control C and just pass the text here for very long, okay? <laughs> And after that, you just drag the text box to be like this. I think it's too long for me. Let's try to delete some. Okay, and after that, you can go to the effects and add background for the text, yeah? Okay, you can also adjust the roundness. The roundness is in the beginning or the the, the end of the text box. So I don't want to use this round roundness. So I just put it zero. And for the spread, it's up to you. Yeah, you can adjust the spread also and also adjust the transparency and change the color. I think I'm going to use this white color. All right, so how to make this text uh, run? <laughs> you can go to animate and then to drift. Yeah, you can see the text is moving, right? <laughs> can you see it? Yeah. Okay. okay, so for the pro user, you can uh, change the direction of the um, text, but if you are using free version, you can still use this one. Okay, it's default from Canva. And for the pro user, you can also change the intensity, which means you can adjust the speed of the text. And after that, I will move this design to the front, maybe for the first page, so that you can see the difference. Yeah. So let's play. Okay, guys, so you can see the text is moving like this. Okay. So this is how you can um, create a moving text or scrolling text effect in Canva. You can also just add another uh, text to put it here. And if let's say you are using a Canva Pro, you can also just put uh, the position like this and you can just choose the um, direction to the right and to the left. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but for currently, because I'm also using the free version to do some demo for you, so I will just go with this one. All right, so now here is the result. Okay, guys, super simple, like I say. <laughs> it is, and it looks so nice. So, Sylvie, do you think as a, as a beginner, they have to have a Canva premium to start working with Canva, or free is mm -hmm. actually enough? Okay, so uh, basically, um, Canva Free is enough for the beginner. I also use uh, Canva Free for several months before I get more clients on hand that uh, I need a Canva Pro to support my work. So you can still um, work or you can still start with Canva Free. Yeah? You can see that from the start till now, I have used all the free elements and all the free features in Canva to create everything. Yeah, so you can definitely do that. 
Right. Okay. And then you can save this as video or as uh, any other format that you that you like, right? Yes, exactly. So you can uh, to save the Canva design, you can just go to share button here and then you can go to download and to the file type that you want to share. Let's say if you want to set a video, you can choose MP4 video. And if you want to set for image, you can choose PNG or JPG. But I always choose PNG because it is more, it, is better, it has better um, quality. And if you want to have some documents, you can also save it as PDF from that way. Okay. Okay. And for today's lesson, I will go to the, I will go back to the design and we'll learn how to customize the templates from scratch. Uh, sorry, customize the template as your own design. Yeah. You can go to the templates here. And you can choose whatever. You can just search for the templates that you want to use. For example, I want to search for fashion store. Okay, so let's just choose the category, um, social media and Instagram posts. Yeah. And there are uh, lots of options for you to choose. Yeah, again, for this yellow crown, you have to have the proportion to use them. But if you are using the free version, you can just opt for the free one. Okay, I'll just try to pick a more simple one. Let's see. Mm. Okay, what about this one? So you just click on the template that you want to use and then click this, uh, customize this template. And the template will be automatically added into your canvas. Okay, and to customize this template, you can change the text, you can change the text size, you can change the text type and also add maybe add some um, format like ball or underline or whatever. And for this one, if you want to uh, use all uppercase, you can just click on this. And for example, I'll just give you an example. So I'll try to add another text box. Yeah. And if you want to add text box, you can just press T in your keyboard and then the text box will appear in your design. Okay. And I'll want to show you this uh, uppercase um feature here so okay okay i think this phone doesn't have the lower case i'll try to change this okay yeah so let's say your text is uh you have a text in uppercase and lowercase so you can just click on this if you want to make all uppercase you don't need to uh, retype it anymore yeah okay just like this okay all right, so to customize this template, first I would want to change the text here. I will just type um, year and sale. Yeah, you can just type whatever text that you want to use and just personalize this template according to your needs or your client's needs. Yeah. Okay, and you can also change the text type here, uh, the font type here. I think I will choose this one yeah and it will be automatically changed you can also um, change the font size like this or you can also go to here just type the size that you want to use and you can also change the photo here so if you want to change the photo you can just delete this photo or you want to make it smaller you can just drag and drop like this yeah you can just drag the photo like this and then I would want to change the photo. And for example, if you are working with the clients, client will provide you the photos. Yeah, my clients also provide me with their photos and videos for me to use and to create the design for them. Okay. And for the elements, I will use the whatever elements in Canva first. But if you are working with clients or you want to use your own photos or your own videos, you can go to the upload and then upload your photo. Yeah, you can just upload the files from your computer. Okay. And at the moment, I will use the stock from Canva. I think I will go to search for fashion and I want to add photos. So I will go to these photos. Okay, I will opt for the free um, photos and I'll choose this one. 
Okay, just click on it or you can also drag and drop. It's up to you, but I love to click on it and it will be automatically added also. Yeah, and for this text, I think I will also try to um, implement whatever we you, uh, we learned yesterday, which is the running text. So in case you are new today, you can pay attention to this and you can learn to create the scrolling text. Yeah, and for this text, I will select all and then press Ctrl C in my keyboard and then just pass all the text. Yeah, you need to have a long text to make the effects. Okay, and I think I will change it to smaller font. Just try to adjust it so that it will have only one line. Yeah, if it's too long, you can just delete it. Okay, and to create a um, scrolling text, you can go to animate and then you choose this drift. Okay, and after that, you can choose this direction because you are using free. And if you are using a proportion, you can choose another direction and also adjust the intensity. But currently, I'm using my free uh, Canva version, so I will just go with this one. Yeah. And now you can see the text is moving. Okay, and you can also add another effects like um, you can go to this effect and then add some background like this. Um, maybe I will change it to black color and then change the text to white color. Okay, it will be something similar like this. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so you can see it's uh, the text is moving, right? Okay, so this is how you can do the uh, scrolling text. And for this part, I'm gonna do the, uh, what we call the emboss text. So I will just move this one to this part and I will move this picture and this text box to this part, okay? And after that, I will move this one to here a little bit. And for this text, I will um, do some Emboss text here, emboss effect here. So I will just try to rotate. You can also rotate whatever um, elements in this uh, canvas. You can also rotate your picture. Okay, and now I want to use this text. So I will copy this and then I will delete this seller. And for this one, I will delete the best one. Yeah. So it's uh, um, basically it's the same with yesterday. And this is how you can, uh, yesterday I have uh, teach you how to create the effect so that you can know, you can, uh, you will understand how to use it in your design, yeah? And for the templates, you can do whatever you want uh, as you uh, using your creativity, but for the um, tricks and tips, I will teach you so that you know how to implement it into your design. Yeah, for this effect, so I will go to the effects and then go to curve and adjust the curve uh, level. So if you are happy with it, you can just go with this. Okay, and you can see the number here is 57. So for the bottom part, you can go to the curve again and then you uh, use the similar number, but you can put the negative sign here, okay? So you can also adjust the letter spacing here. All right, and I would want to put Bob as well. Yeah, and for this text, I will want to change it to another color. I will use this color. So I will um, go to the effects to create some emboss text. So I will go to shadow. If you missed this part yesterday, you can also take a screenshot. So for the offset, first you need to put 25 and for the blur, you also put 25 and for the transparency, you can go with 75. Yeah, and then you press enter, okay? And secondly, you need to group these tags, okay? So that it won't be separated and duplicate it and then put it in the same position like this 
and you go to more and go to layer and go to show layer. So you go to the second text. Let's see. Okay, this one, uh, the bottom one, the text in the foreground, and then go to the effects again and go to the direction and you can change it to 150. Just use the number that I mentioned here. And then for the transparency, you can change it to 80. And for the color, I think you will want to change it to white color. Yeah. And for the first text, I think I forgot to change it to the black color. Let me check it. So for the first text or for the top one, uh, in the top uh, text in the top layer, you have to uh, use the color black to have the effects. Okay. And after that, I will change the background to the same color of this text so it will enhance the effects. Yeah. Okay. You can also make it bigger. I think I'm going to, oh, sorry, group the text here. Okay. So it's something like this. I hope you um, pick up some skill for me if you are not you were not joining yesterday okay and um, yeah guys so if you are new can you please let me know if you can understand what i explained so far <laughs> can you let me know in the chat box please uh -huh. uh... Okay, you can understand. Okay, I clearly understand. Okay, great. I'm All right, sure guys. If they try on their own, it will be you guys. If you try it on your own, it you it will definitely be much easier. So I hope you did take a screenshot or video recording of uh, what Sylvie explained, and mm -hmm. definitely you can follow it like slowly okay. by slowly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I understand. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, so you someone are asking how to group. Okay, I'll show you about that again. So to group the elements or to group the text, you can just, okay, I'll try to ungroup first. And to group this text or to group whatever elements in your design, you can just click on your canvas and then you drag it like this. Yeah, it's, it's actually it's just um, similar when you are using um, when you're working on Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, it's basically the same. Yeah, you just click on your, <coughs> you click your mouse and then you drag like this and then you click group. And that's it. Yeah. And it won't be separated. So it will be easier for you to move your uh, elements in your design. Okay, guys. So that's how we can customize the template from Canva. Yeah, feel free to explore the templates here and feel free to practice because it will help you a lot to grow your skill yeah. or to level up your skill. Okay, and I'm going to show you how it like. Okay, so this is the before and this is the after. Yeah, it's, uh, it will be uh, much more uh, time saving, creating a um, personalizing the templates rather than creating everything from scratch. Yeah, because sometimes you also need to think um, how to put your elements or how to design or whatever uh, elements that you want to add. Okay. Okay, I hope uh, this one is clear. Um, let's move on to the next part, which is I will teach you how to create the glass effect on Canva. Yeah, the one that I have shown you previously in our um, presentation. Okay, before we use that magnifying glass. So first I will show you how to get that um, glass template. So first, I will go to the element to search for the photo that I want to use. And maybe I'll try with the... Okay, lah, just go this, with this one. Okay, and I will go to photos. And maybe I will choose this one. Yeah, it's free. Yeah, you can see this is free because it doesn't have the uh, yellow crown here. Okay, just click on it. And then you can right click and set image as background. And after that, uh, you can go to edit and go to blur. Okay. And then go to the whole image here. Yeah. 
and change the intensity usually i will go with uh, 40 to 50 so i will use 40 at the moment okay just enter and then your picture will be blurred like this okay and after that uh, you can search for the frame yeah, I will go with this one. You can choose whatever frame that you want to use. Frame in Canva is for you to add your photos or your videos that uh, it will be automatically fit to the frame shape that you choose. Yeah. Okay, so for this one, I will go with this frame and I can also change the border or the corner rounding like this. You can see the difference, right? Yeah. And then you can also change the um, color of the border. Yeah. yeah, you can adjust the border like this. So I uh, usually I will go with 10 to 12. So let's choose 12. And for the color, you can also change the border color, maybe change it to white. Or you can choose uh, the color that you like. Yeah. And you can also adjust the frame like this, okay? And after that, you can go back to the element. So I will add the same photo here. Okay, I think this doesn't look very um, clearly. I will try to find another photo. Okay, let's use this one instead. Yeah, you can replace the background and after that you go back to the edit and then change the blur intensity and for this frame you can also drag the same picture okay so it's basically like this so you can adjust the photo inside the frame okay and you can see that the the background is blur and this is the original color so this is what we call the glass effect on canva um maybe i'll try another picture or let me see mm. okay maybe this one i guess okay you can also just drag and drop to the background to change it automatically yeah Okay, now you can see the difference, right? This is the original one and this is the blurred one. And you can also add some text here if you want. Let's say, okay. Uh, let's change the font type. Mm. So as I have mentioned, you can also change the uh, font here if you don't want to use all uppercase. And I will change the text color to white color. And in, you can see that it's not really clear here, right? So to enhance the clarity, I will add another um, rectangle. So I will just press R in my keyboard. So this is the shortcut. You can use. You can also use shortcut to add the elements into your design. If you are not using shortcut, you can go to the elements and search for the rectangle. Okay, wait a second. Yeah, you can go to shape and then choose the rectangle, okay? But if you don't want to do that, you can also press R in your keyboard and then it will automatically appear like this. Um, I would want to adjust the uh, letter spacing, so let's just try to adjust it here. Okay, and for this um, rectangle, I want to change it to maybe to black color and adjust the transparency. Okay, guys, so it's just like this, yeah, and. Apart from this, you can also um, do it in the reverse way. And I will duplicate this page. You can click on this duplicate page if you want to duplicate your design, okay? And then for this um, background, I will change the blur to the original uh, 
um, uh, image, sorry. And then for the small one, I will um, go to blur and then change it to 50. So can you see the difference here? Okay, and now let's go back to the template. So I would want to search for another template to use. Okay, so let's go with travel because I believe everyone loves traveling, right? So if you are a photo assistant, you can just go traveling and earn money at the same time. Okay, and let's choose the um, Instagram post because it will be more standard for you to understand and better to understand. And then um, let's go to choose one template that I want to show you how to do the um what we call that uh, magnifying glass effect okay let's go with this one <clears throat> yeah you just choose the template and then customize it okay okay so for this one first i would want to change the background color yeah you can click on the background color here and then go to the color palette here yeah, because you can see that it's using the gradient color and you can just click on it to change the color. So in this design, uh, the, in this template, it's using four color. So you can choose four of them. Um, if you are working with a client or if you are creating your own design, uh, you can go with your own uh, color palette or your brand guideline, okay? So for now, I will just choose uh, randomly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. For this one, I will choose this. So now you can see that the color is changed, and after that, I think I will also want to change the business name here. Maybe let's go with um, Horizon. Yeah, you can. Um, put your client's name if you are working with your clients later, and you can also change the logo here. I don't have any logo here, so I'll just go to find uh, some logo in the elements. Uh, go to graphic, and I want to delete this one and change with another one. Okay, again, let's choose the free one. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I'll choose this one. Okay, and you can resize your elements like this and put it here, okay? And after that, you can also change the uh, shape of this um, picture here. So this is using the frame. Yeah, I'll be, make it bigger. It's using frame, so you can just delete the frame, yeah? And, but if you want to keep with this, it's also okay. But for now, I will show you how to change the frame. And to add new frame, I will go to the elements and then search for frame. You can go to frames and maybe I will go with the uh, circle one, just click on it and then it will be automatically added here and you can just resize it like this and just arrange the position and you can also change the border and change the color of the frame as well. Yeah, and after that, if you want to add another frame, if you want to save time, you just click this uh, this duplicate. You don't need to uh, do anything from scratch uh, from the start anymore. So you just click on the duplicate and then duplicate again. Okay, and if you want to arrange the position, you can go to layer. To you can click more and then go to layer and then click uh, show layers. Yeah, and you can adjust the position accordingly. You can just drag and move the position like this. Okay, and uh, let's see which one. Okay. No, I don't want this one. Maybe this one. Yep. Okay, guys. So it's basically how the frame or how the elements work in Canva. Yeah. 
And after that, I will want to change the text here. Maybe let's change it to Swiss. Okay. You can also change the uh, font type, but I think for this time, I won't change anything here for the text um, type. And for this um, picture, I will just try to adjust the corner. Okay. So you can see the difference, right? Um, you can click on this and then adjust the corner rounding. Yeah. You can also change the border style if you want. And also the border weight. But I will go with this. Okay. All right, guys. So now um, I have changed this template to Swiss. So it's not possible for me to use the India's picture, right? So I will go to the elements and then search for Swiss. Again, if you are working with your clients, uh, I believe the clients will provide the picture or videos for you to use. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about that. And I will go with the free one. Let's choose maybe this one just drag and drop to your frame and okay okay um okay this one i think yeah and for this picture i will use uh, this one okay all right guys so here i would want to show you some tricks on the magnifying glass you can pay attention feel free to um, screen record or type a screenshot but uh, later on i will also share with you what the, are the elements that i'm using for this okay and first i will uh, go to the elements and then search for magnifying glass Fine. magnifying glass okay yeah you can go to graphics uh, uh, just choose the one that is free. Mm. Let's see which one. Okay. Uh, okay, I think this one is good. Okay, just click on it and make it bigger like this. Okay. Uh, before that, I think I'm gonna um, adjust the position of this uh, plane. Maybe let's put it here. Okay, now you go back to the elements and search for the frame. And after that, you can choose the circle one and try to adjust the size to fit the magnifying glass. Okay. Mm, okay. And after that, I will go back to the elements again and find this picture, the similar picture with this background. I will click on it and just drag and drop. Okay. And after that, for this background color, uh, sorry, for this background picture, let's go to edit and add the blur intensity. Okay. And yeah. Perhaps this doesn't look really uh, realistic. So let's add some other thing here. I will go to the elements and search for, um, let me think, Trans transparent, transparent, transparent glass. Yeah, you can go to graphics and just search for the one that is free. It's the same, yeah. Uh, okay. Mm. Maybe this one. Okay, just click on it and then try to adjust the size similar to this um, magnifying glass. But you can see that if you are just dragging and dropping it here, it will be automatically added into the frame, right? So what you can do is you press control in your keyboard if you are using uh, the Windows. Yeah. Uh, just press control button in your keyboard and then put it here and try to adjust the position. Mm. 
Uh, okay. All right, guys. <laughs> Here I'm done, and I'll try to adjust the transparency a little bit. Okay. So um, from this template, you can customize or personalize it into this one. Yeah. Okay. So for our first topic today, we will learn how to create a reel on Canva or create a video on Canva. And one of them is the Instagram reel. You can also create TikTok a video and also YouTube short. But for now, I will start with the Instagram reel. So how to create the design from scratch or how to create your reel from scratch, you can click on this create a design. And after that, you can choose the Instagram reel. And if you don't find uh, Instagram reel here, you can just type it in this search bar and it will appear like this and you can just click on this. Okay, so you will be um, taken to the same design dashboard, but this is for reels because the size is different. You can see the size, uh, it is longer because um, it depends on what um, what type of content that you want to create. They will have different design, but you don't have to overthink or uh, you don't know what design to use. You can just go to uh, Canva and then you just type whatever uh, design you want to create. Yeah, Let's say you want to create reels, you can just find reels. It is already set as a standard um, size for the um, content that you want to create. All right, guys, let's, let's move, uh, go back to this screen. Okay. Now, if you want to create the reel, um, today I will also be using the a video or the stock photos from Canva. So I will go to the elements and maybe I'll try to find for something. Let's try to find something related to our topic yesterday, which is a travel. And I think I will go with the same uh, keywords. And I'll go to the videos. And in this video, you can see there are lots of uh, yellow crown here, which means that it is for the pro user. But if you are a free Canva user, you can opt for the free videos. Yeah. And to make it easier, you can also go to this. Um, okay. I don't find it here. Never mind. So if you are using a free Canva version, you can just opt for the free video. Let me see whether I can find it. Um, I don't have okay. Um, please wait a second while me I'm searching for the uh, suitable video to use. Um, okay, this one. You just click on it, and then add another video. You can just click this uh, plus button to add a new page. Okay. Um. All right, guys, I think the um, picture or the video is limited. Let's try to find another keywords, another more general keywords. Okay, let's choose this one as well. I will move it to the first page. You can just click and hold and then drag it into the first page. And after that, I will add another new page. And click this. Sorry for that. Um, what about this one? Okay. Okay, let's try to have um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now I have five videos here. So basically, you just find uh, the videos that you want to use, or you can also upload it uh, by yourself, right? Yes, exactly. So if you want to use your own video, you can just go to this upload button and then upload your um, the videos or the photos that you want to use. Yeah. 
And for this one, I think it is not um, fully occupied the page. So you can just right click on the video and then set video as background. Do the same for the next pages. You can um, click control in your keyboard and then just scroll your mouse to zoom in and zoom out the timeline like this. Okay, I think this one is um, uh, it's a pro version because you see you can see that if you are using the free version, but if you choose the pro uh, Canva elements or videos or template or whatever, it will appear the Canva watermark like this. Yes. Yeah, so it won't look very professional. So if you are using the free Canva version, you can opt for a free um, footage or either use your own footage. I will just remove this one and then I will change it with this one instead. All right, guys, so now I have um, five videos in my design here. And then this video is too long. It's uh, 12 seconds. You can see here it's 12 seconds, 5.7, uh, 22.7, etc. So you can also adjust the duration in this part. You can trim it. Uh, let's say I want to have a two second for each of the clips. So I'll just uh, change it like this. Oh, so you just type the amount of seconds and then, or you, you can also drag the... Yes, or you can also drag the video like this, but I love to type it because I don't need to uh, adjust, adjust and adjust again. So I'll just type yeah. it in. Right, so basically it's um, just that simple to add a video in your design, yeah? And after that, you can just play it. And then I think, where is it? All right, inside of this, you can also add text in your design. So you can go to the text and then add the text box, or you can just press T, T letter in your keyboard and the text box will appear here and just type whatever you want to type here. Let's say um, POV. My 2024 vacation, for example. And you can also change the text color and also uh, change the font size or font type as well. Yeah, it's up to you, okay? And then if you see that the text is not very clear, it's not stand out, you can also add the rectangle here. So I also like to add rectangle. You just press R in your keyboard and the rectangle will appear. And you can um, drag the rectangle to be in the position of this text and then you can adjust the transparency as well. Yeah, so it will enhance the clarity of the text. Yeah, so you can see it's the result. And another thing that you can use, uh, you can add in your video, you can also add the transition between each of the clip. And to do that, you can just scroll your mouse or your cursor into each uh, of the, um, between the, the clip, and then you just click on this logo, add transition, okay? And you can choose whatever transition that you want to use. There are some options here. You can choose this soft. And if you just roll your um, cursor like this, you will see the preview. Okay, and I think I will opt for this one. And you can also apply between all pages so that you can save time. Okay, and let's play the video to see how it looks like. So if you want to keep the, the words, the text on all of the video, you can just copy paste the same. Yes, video. exactly. So usually if you want to keep the text in all the, the pages, you can 
uh, because I want to use the text and also the rectangle. So I'll just click and hold and then you can group it and then you can just press Ctrl C, copy in your keyboard and then just Ctrl V and it will be pasted in the same position as the previous pages. So it's basically like this. It's quite um, simple, right? <laughs> and after that, you can also add audio in your video. And for this time, I will also use the whatever Canva have. So I will just type audio and then maybe I'll go to this audio. Okay. And you can just uh, choose one that you want to use. So if you are using free version, again, you cannot use the pro um, audio here okay now to add the audio you can uh, preview or play the audio first to uh, hear what is the audio um, like uh, what is the audio like and then if it is suitable for you you can just um, drag it to the design yeah i'll try to display this one okay and to add the audio you have to drag this um black line to the front of your video otherwise if you put it in the middle or in another part of the video your audio will be added in this part from this part yeah you can see the result let me show you you can see can you see here so if you are placing your uh this what we call it black black line in the front of your video and when you click the audio it will be automatically added starting from the video uh, from the first video yeah and for this one if you want to delete the audio you can just right click and then delete track. okay okay let me see mm. So let's preview this video. Unfortunately, Sylvie, we cannot hear the audio from the shared screen. <laughs> but guys, you can try it on your own. Like when you put the audio, for sure it will play. And when you um, export it, it will be exported. But unfortunately, we cannot hear Sylvie's oh. music now. Okay, okay, that's okay. You can try uh, to practice at home. Yeah. yeah. If you want to play to see the full screen, you can just click on this preview. Okay. So uh, that's how um, in Canva this is limited. But if you go to CapCut, you will have uh, more options. Um, but Catherine, maybe someday you can also have a, a uh, CapCut master. Okay, guys. If you think our next master class should be CapCut master class, please drop a chat <laughs> <laughs> yes please yeah. let us know yeah. okay um, um uh, duh, duh, duh. does canva have an auto caption feature no right i don't think so oh yes no you if you want to add caption you can go to CapCut. Mm. okay does canva have ai voice like tiktok studio Mm, I, I don't, don't think, think so. Yeah, but I think you can have the apps. Uh, Canva has the apps that you can clone your voice here. Mm. Yeah, we won't talk about it because it will be very challenging due to the time limitation. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think uh, everyone also love CatCut. Maybe uh, <laughs> we can consider CatCut Masterclass yeah. on our next uh, Masterclass. Yeah, All actually, right. Very user friendly. My son is also using CapCut to create the video for his YouTube channel. You know, <laughs> so oh, really, really, so yeah. cute. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because there's a lot of templates also to use in CapCut. Yes, exactly. All right. Okay. I don't think. Okay. Has your client ever provided you with heavy raw photos or videos? If so, what application do you use to send that data? Okay, usually uh, we will share the data on Google Drive. So I will create a Google Drive that we can share anything there. Yeah. Yeah. Google Drive. Yes, exactly. All right. Okay. So I think I think mm -hmm. that's it. So guys, if you still have any questions for Sylvia regarding the uh, Canva design or whatever, just drop it in the chat room. So Sylvia, I think you can move forward to the next All right. 
So let's move forward to the next part. And now you know how to create the reels or the video from the script. And now I will also want to show you how to use template to edit your a video. Yeah, let's go back to the home page. And I'll try to search for, um, let's see this one, whether we have any options here. Okay, so now I will try to find a template that contains a photo because you can also add photos in Canva to create a video. Um, maybe just try this one. Yeah. Oh, nice. And, yeah, as usual, you can just customize this template. So if you, I, I can see that some of the audiences are mentioning that they also use CapCut to edit the video. So it, uh, basically you can also use the same, do the same thing in Canva. You can also just edit the template and I'll show you how to use that. So now I want to change whatever uh, photo here and then I'll go to the element again and then try to find the photo that I want to use. So it's basically just uh, drag and drop the elements or the photo into your design. Yeah, like this one. And then you just right click if you want to set it as background. And you can also adjust the position, just double click on the photo and then you can adjust accordingly. And for the next one, just do the same. If you have your own photos, you can just upload it here and then you just um, add whatever photo that you have or you want to use into your design. Yeah. It's, it's so easy. easy. Yes, it's, it's so easy. So simple, yes. And let's try another one. Maybe. I'm very grateful for Canva because to yeah. do this on Photoshop is yeah. so complicated. Exactly. We're living in an era where everything gets so much easier. That's so right. Becoming yeah. a, a remote yeah. worker is also much easier. Exactly. So we want we need to grab the chance. Yeah. We need to follow the trend. <laughs> Exactly, and it, it is simple and easy. So you may say that oh, your the the entrepreneur can also do this on their own. The answer is probably yes, but they don't have the time to do that. So yes. we are saving their time by doing this for our clients. Exactly. Okay, now I have done, and then here is the result, and you can go to this um, arrow to see the full screen. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Okay, so it can be done in under one minute, I guess. <laughs> All right. Usually, because usually the the clients will already provide us with the uh, raw material, right? So you don't yes. have, you don't really have to go like browse a lot of things online. Yes. yes. Yeah, but again, you still have to follow the brand guidelines of your clients. Let's say the. Um, or the font type, the color palette, and etc. Yeah, that's it. All right, and now I want to show how to create a reels for a photo assistant content. Yeah, um, let's see how to do that. And I think I'm gonna create a new one. Guys, so the chat is not working still, so please, or let's continue still on Telegram better okay. so guys usually when you are creating a video or editing a video for your clients if your client already have the idea they will share with you what video that they want however if you are a social media manager sometimes you will need to give your idea or share your idea with the clients of what kind of videos that you want to create for them yeah. And usually you will have the script, you need to provide, uh, you need to prepare the script first and what is, what could be on the first clip, the second uh, clip and etc. And then you will provide the script and also the first over if it is needed and also what type of video that you want them to provide to you. Yeah. And after that, they will provide the um, footage or the video or photo for you to do the edit. 
Okay. And now I would want to create a simple design or simple reels uh, to talk about my photo assistant service. And for this one, first I will go to the elements and then I will try to search for what from home. Oh no, I think I will go with this home office. And let's go to the photo and choose the free one. Okay, let's start with this one. And then set image as background. And if you want to find the um, similar pattern or similar style of the pictures, you can go to this three dots and then click on this three dot and you can click the creator name. Okay, and it will give you uh, some options to choose from the album or the collection. Okay, and now let's add another page and I will add another more picture. <coughs> Sorry. All right, now I have five pages here and I have already uh, prepared the script previously to save time. Where is it? Let me see. Okay, so it's, it's, this is a very simple. I just need to the words to add into this design. Yeah. And firstly, before I go to the next step, I will set the transparency of this image. I will set everything to 20. Okay, now I want to add a text box. So I will add a heading here and then I will just copy the text from here. <clears throat> and I also want to change the font type to this one okay and after that I will add another picture uh, let's find a photo assistant mm. uh, let's find someone <coughs> sorry okay this one looks good Okay. Um, I think I will change the font type because this one cannot use the italic. Okay, so we are done with our first page and let's move on to the next page. Uh, I want to use the similar style of this photo, so I will go to this three dot and then click on this creator name. Let's see. Okay, now I have another options. Okay. 
Okay, let's add for another page. Right, so I want to arrange the photo in every pages in similar position. So I can go to the file and then go to settings and then show rulers and guides. So you will see the ruler here and what you're going to do is you just click and hold on this ruler and just, just drag it to your canvas. Okay, and now you can see that the ruler will appear in every pages of your design here yeah and you can just uh, adjust the position accordingly it will help you a lot okay and you can also drag from left to right like this and now I want to add another text. So I'll just copy this text. And I will follow this rule, uh, this guide to place my text box here. Okay, and I'll just go to copy this text. I think I want to um, separate this into two text box so i'll just duplicate it and then for the first one i will delete the text like this and then for the second one i will just delete the title and for this one i'm gonna change the font as well it's up to you yeah you can also follow the brand guideline of your own um, account or your client's uh, business Okay, now I'm done with this one and then I'll copy it to the next pages. So basically it's just a copy and paste. And for this one. So let's, uh, as I mentioned previously, you can provide or you can just prepare everything, your idea uh, prior to the editing process because it will save you lots of time. And another important thing is that when you are creating reels, whether it is for your own business or for your clients, you need to include the CTA. So CTA is call to action. It means that you what, what action that you want your audience to take when they see your content. For example, you want them to save, to follow, or to share, or to DM you. Yeah, it is very important if you are creating content as a, a social media manager. I think for the last page, I will make some tweak. Okay. Um, and I also love to add some uh, formatting for the words that I want to emphasize to the audience. Yeah, you can add grow or uh, you can just put ball or add ball or use ball and also use another um, color. It's up to you. Yeah, as long as you follow the brand guideline. Yeah. Okay, now I'm done and here is the result. Okay, so I think the video is too long. I will try to adjust the timing. And here you can just uh, type the timing that you want to use and apply to all pages. 
And after that, you can also add the transition here. And I will use this dissolve and then apply between all pages. Okay. And here's, here is the result. Yeah, and if you find it too fast, you can also adjust the timing accordingly. But currently, the short video is very trending, so don't make your video too long because the audience will get bored. You can hear me. Okay, guys, so if you want to add the ruler, you can... Okay, now I'll clear the guys first. If you want to add the rulers, you can go to file and then go to settings and choose oh, show rulers, rulers and guides. Right. Yes. Or you can also press shift plus R in your keyboard. Okay. And you can click on the guides and then just drag to the position that you want to put. You can also drag it to the bottom and also you can drag from left to right as well. And usually I will also add the position like this to help me in my design so that it will look more organized and less cluttered. Okay, I hope this answers your questions. Okay guys, so now I'm in my Canva Pro version and I use two versions. Uh, the first one is to show you that you can also create stunning visuals even just by using the free Canva version, okay? So for the past two days, everything that I have shared with you, you can do it for free, yeah? Unless you want to use the pro uh, templates or pro elements, you have to pay for it. But if you are opting for the free templates and elements, you can always do the thing that I show you for the two days for free, yeah? And now I want to show you the Pro um, feature that I really love, which is the Magic Studio. Because um, if you go to Magic Studio, you can do the magic <laughs> or become a magician. <laughs> All right. So this is actually this is bonus for me because I believe uh, not of you are using the Canva Pro, right? And all right, never mind. You can still pick up some uh, skills and also knowledge from me. And first, I will add the mm, photo first, and let's see what I want to find. I will find this one. Okay, I will try to use this one. Okay. So uh, the first magic studio that I want to show you is the background remover and how to do that. You can just click on the photo and then go to edit or you can just directly click the background remover here. Or if you want to go to, to the edit to find more tools to use, you can just click on it and then here are the magic studio that you can use. We'll go for one by one. Okay, just click on the background remover and let Canva do the magic for you. Yay. Yeah, so it has been removed. And basically, I also, um, usually I will also just try to change the background. So let's try to find another keyword here. And then maybe we'll see the children playing on the playground. So you can just click on this and then right click and go to layer and show layers and then you can just drag the picture of the playground into the back and adjust accordingly. Yeah, or you can also just right click on the picture and then set an image as background. Oh, sorry, I clicked the wrong image. All right, guys, so it's the magic, the first magic. I hope you like it, and let's move on to the next magic. Uh, let's go back to the first one, or I think... All right, now I'm going to just copy this one, 
And in the background remover, when you click on this, you can also restore everything that you have removed previously. You can just click restore here and then you can just brush. Yeah. All right, now you have your ori original uh, image back. Okay, and let's move on to the, yes, uh, what do you think about Catherine? Have you ever used this? Feature? Yeah, I use this one a lot because it's, yes. yeah, it's very useful. It's very simple. <laughs> yeah, it's very simple. It's very user friendly. You just need to click and on this and click on that. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next one and click edit again. And then let's go for the magic eraser. Okay, and here is the trick. You can um, delete or remove anything that you don't want in your picture. So uh, you don't need to pay for another editor to do that for you. If let's say you have your own photo and you want to remove some unwanted object. Okay, and you can just go to this. I will repeat again. You can just go to the edit and then choose magic eraser and just click on whatever uh, elements or whatever objects that you want to remove. Okay, for example, these two and just erase and let the Canva do the magic for you again. All right, guys, so it has been removed. Okay. And now let's move on to the next uh, Magic Studio, which is the Magic Grab. I think I will just use the same image. Just okay. read. So to do the Magic Grab, you can go to Edit and then click this Magic Grab and you can just uh, wait a second. Uh, Canva also give you some options of which object to grab. But if you want to click on the object, you can just click on it. Let's say I want to grab this red ball. I'll just click on the uh, red ball and then click grab. I think after this bonus lesson, everybody wants to have a pro Canva. <laughs> <laughs> it's very uh, useful, actually. Yeah. And now yeah, you can just move this object to whatever uh, position that you want to put it. Okay. And you can even copy it or duplicate it. So it becomes a, a, an isolated layer entirely, right? Yes, it's like. Okay, and all right, guys, let's move on to the next part, which is, let me see, what is that? Grab text. Okay, I think I will touch on this later, but okay, never mind. Let's yeah. move on. Save it for later, Sylvie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, it's more, uh, it's, it's more different, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and Okay, let's move on to the magic edit. And for the magic edit, I think I will go for another image, for example. Uh, no, I'll just use this one. So now we have our snowman here. And Unfortunately, he's alone, so we want to add a Christmas tree for a tour company. And you can go to the edit and then click this magic edit. Okay. And after that, you can brush the position that you want to add the, what we call it, the Christmas tree. I want to add a Christmas tree or you want to add another object, it's up to you. Yeah. Okay. I will try this one. Okay, maybe this one, and then you can describe whatever you want to add or to change, and then I will try to add the Christmas tree. Okay. Okay. <coughs> 
So you are also using this um, feature, right, um, Mbak Catherine? Yeah. 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 Not as much because I don't really have, uh, I don't currently have um, SMM client. Oh, okay. But I explore this a lot, I think, for more personal use. Oh, <laughs> it's for fun. Okay, that's great. Oh, that's so cute. Uh-huh. Yeah, so if you this are not really happy, magic. Yeah, this is magic. You can just add the object to your photo, yeah, and just by typing the text uh, or typing the thing that you want to add. But again, if you don't have you are not happy with this, you can just cancel and then I think I'm gonna change the um, the drawing. Okay. And let's generate again. Uh, yeah, I, I'm seeing some question. Yes, this is only for Pro Canva, unfortunately. So as Sylvie mentioned before, this part is a bonus uh, lesson. So she is showing you what type of things that uh, can be done when you have a premium Canva. So you can also decide whether you need it or, or not. Like, for example, if you have clients who just need simple uh, design simple visual actually you won't need to be creating fancy uh, artwork like this so you can stick with the um the the free one but mm -hmm. if you feel like you want to upgrade you want to give a more comprehensive result to your clients these are the things that you can be um, done by the pro yes exactly yeah yeah now we have our christmas tree here okay i think this one looks better yeah <laughs> okay so you. all right i think this looks nice and let's move on to the next one which is the magic expand so you can expand your picture to fit your pages okay and you can choose whatever size that you want to use you can choose whole page or one by one it's up to you now i will choose the whole page and just click this magic expand so it's uh, basically it's very easy as long as you know how to use the feature i think you just have to practice like just click everything <laughs> That's everything that you i find out about all of canva features as well like spend all day clicking Yes, because it's really worth it. And okay, now we have some options here. Let's see which one looks better. Oh, so cute. It shows the house. <laughs> yes. Yes, guys, I'm seeing some of you say that the uh, membership is expensive. So I think it also depends on um, whether you need it or not. Like if you if you pay the membership, but you actually don't have any clients, so you just mm -hmm. pay it as an expenses. I think it is expensive. Like even just ten thousand rupiah is expensive when it's for nothing, right? But yeah. if you have a client, and then this is going to upscale your service uh, for them. I think mm -hmm. it's worth the investment, especially if yeah. you feel that. Uh, they will appreciate that you use this type of uh, design for them. Yes, yes I agree. So basically, um, for me, I also started with the Canva free, but when I get more clients, I decided to pay for the uh, Canva Pro because for me, it's very worth investment. You know, yeah. you spend about 100K per month, uh, 100K per yeah. year per month, you can... Um, you can earn more than that, right? Yeah, yeah. As long as you will earn that back, I think it's worth it. Yes, yes exactly. Okay, now right. let's okay, right. Now let's move on to the magic edit. So for the magic edit, I will use different type of pictures, maybe something like the book. I don't know, let's see where what we have here. Okay, okay, this one can work. Okay. okay, now let's go to edit and then choose the grab text. So you can grab the text here. 
yeah and then just click on it and click grab <clears throat> and now you can move the text to another position yeah that's as simple as this all right guys i'm done <laughs> um now i have another thing to show you on how to use the magic grab um let's try to find another picture so let me think okay i'll choose this one okay or this one maybe okay and now I will choose, uh, I'll show you the comparison and I will choose table. Okay, this table is great. Okay, and now you go back to the edit and choose magic grab. Hmm. Okay, I want to grab this oil, this bottle oil, and just grab. It might take some time, so please wait. All right, now I can grab this bottle and then move it to another table. Eh, what is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, guys, so you can also uh, do something like this, okay? Awesome. <laughs> All right. Okay, now uh, actually I will show from the start. So this is my first design when I just started as a, a photo assistant. It's just some basic um, edit on the template. Yeah, and then I also try to create some logos and then use it in the mockup. So Canva also have the mockup, um, we call it feature that you can use to showcase your design uh, how it will look like in real life and this is also the same this is also a mock-up so i just created this part and then i used the mock-up to showcase the design and this is also mock-up by the way yeah and this is what i'm creating now so this is the blending um effect but it this for this uh design it needs more um time to create and it will need more process maybe i'll try to share with you if i have a chance uh, in the future maybe and also for this one it's also the blending effect but it needs also it also needs more process to do and for this one i use the similar uh, technique that i teach you uh, yesterday but uh, the fact is the fun fact is um these two images are created on uh, our ai generated images so actually, I'm also learning about AI. I'm very interested on it. I also use the chatbot and text to image, text to video, and also the AI voiceover. So this is one of the examples that I created on AI. And this one is also created on Canva, but you can see the um, fantasy line inside this egg. It's also AI generated image. So basically, I uh, use AI to create the image and then I use everything, all the tricks in Canva to do the design. And for this one, it's also in Canva. It just needs some tricks, but you have to um, take not all take uh, attention to put the between each photos part uh, to put it like um, seamlessly. Yeah. And then for this one, I also do it on Canva. So it's basically like added two images, but you can add the text in the middle of the picture. 
And for this one, it's also created on Canva. It needs more time to create this one. Maybe it maybe take me about an hour to create this, but I know people can also do that on Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator, but I cannot use that both um, tools. So I just try to create on Canva, okay? This one is also the same with the previous um, one, just the different design, okay? Okay, guys, so I think that yes. you are really giving us a lot of uh, new inspiration, new motivation, and you really show us that there is a huge opportunity um, in the remote working industry just when you know how to use Canva. So I think I think the hope is what makes us like more excited here. Yes, exactly. So I would also like to thank SGB V8 team and you as well for giving me this opportunity to share my knowledge with all of you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Sylvie. I hope to see you yes. also on the next um, session. Next one. Okay. All so right. Smart.